this is my fish over here in the pool. take out that fish for them to see. Hold it carefully. Right here. Alright, so what you're going to do with this seasoning now? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to do with it? Just put it. Where are you going to put it? Right. A little bit at a time. Rub it. Rub it good. Just a little bit. So we're going to coat the fish with the Cajun seasoning front and back and she's also opening the inside and placing some of that seasoning inside making sure every area of her fish is totally covered in, in, in the seasoning. Now she's going to spray her grill. She's using olive oil nonstick spray and once it is heated up she had it at the highest settings. She is going to put her fish this, season, this fish was not seasoned prior, seasoned prior at all. So she just used my Cajun seasoning and we're going to use my Cajun barbecue sauce, okay? So she's going to place this on the very heated grill and also grease, even though it's nonstick, she still added some olive oil spray, right? And she's going to cover it. She wanted to cover it. She said, Auntie, let's cover it. I was like, okay, let's cover it. This is your recipe. <laughs> So she covered with some wax paper and she left it there for 10 minutes. Literally, she had a timer. She asked me, are we putting a timer? We, we actually set a timer. And now she's going to turn it, turn the fish around. She was really scared, but I was guiding her and coaching her along and she did it. But she wasn't comfortable doing the other one, so she asked me to do it. But then we used some of my same seasoning on the plate and then we're going to use my Cajun barbecue sauce. She's coating the fish that she just turned and once they are coated in the barbecue sauce she's going to turn them over. So again I am doing the second one. She would do one, I would do one and we are going to place more barbecue sauce on that side. As you're seeing here she's putting her barbecue sauce. So what she did was she grilled the fish first for 10 minutes then Turn it around, add her barbecue sauce, and let the other side cook, and then turn that other side, put her barbecue sauce, and let that cook. So in all together, the fish cooked for 20 minutes, because she left it for 10 minutes on each side, and this is it at the end. She was so anxious to eat fish. She loves fish very much, and she's a baby. She eating off our plate. So... Once her fish is added to her plate, and she actually put her fish for herself. <laughs> oh, she loves cooking with her aunties. She wants to taste it. Of course, the chef has to taste. And she wasn't letting nothing go to waste. Nothing, nothing. Not even if it fall on the counter. And she loved how her fish tastes. Even though that Cajun seasoning is very spicy, she was enjoying it, and she didn't want to stop. If I didn't stop the eating, I was like... Kamiko, we have to take a picture. She's like, okay, auntie. She wasn't too pleased about having to stop her, but we had to stop. <laughs> and and as you can see, she's going for her next bite. And at this point, I was like, we really need to stop to take a picture to put in our video. So this is how, as you can see, she would have just kept going. So this is how my niece, Kamiko Pierre, put together her Cajun See, seasoned grilled fish and she used her my Cajun barbecue sauce and she enjoyed her fish. The audio wasn't so right because I had music, neighbors had music playing around and we don't want to get copyrighted at all. So this is some pictures that I was able to take out after she devoured one of the fish and I had taken out some when she was placing her barbecue sauce. Well guys, thanks for watching Kamiko in the Kitchen. Oh! <laughs>